Do you want to create a bucket packaging design? Then you clicked on the right video my friend. So let's get started. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. You can download the source file from the link in the description. I don't have this font so I will download it. I downloaded this font from the font.com as you can see you can download it from there too. I'm going to show you everything from scratch so remember don't miss any second. Our logo is ready. Now copy the logo, then go to photoshop and create a new document, remember to keep the color mode to CMYK. Take a solid color layer for the background, and with the ellipse tool make a circle and align it according to the design. Now paste the logo. Now paste the logo on our Photoshop document. Then create a new layer for the gradient effect. Then go to freepick.com and search melting caramel. Ungroup the layers, copy the melting factor and paste it in Photoshop. Align the melting chocolate effect vector to the top. Then double click on the chocolate vector and turn on drop shadow. and turn on inner shadow for some more detail. Then again go to freepick.com and search cookie. Hmm. This one is perfect. But if you wanna travel then go alone. Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? Then select the white area of the cookie with magic wand tool and mask it out.
then go to free pick again and search chocolate chip Hmm, we can use this one. Mask out the background like we did before with the cookie. Now search cream. Hmm, this is perfect for the background. Clip it with the shade we created in the first step, then change its blending mode to multiply. Align it properly. Mm, this angle looks so good. We have to remove its background with pen tool because it doesn't have a solid background. Don't forget to turn the dopey ng to smart object. Make a copy of the cookie and place it on the dough. Mm, that looks good and yummy as well. Lock the layers you don't want to modify because it will help to improve your workflow. Create a new layer and just click with your brush tool and transform it. It is the easiest and quickest way to create some shadows.
resize and align the elements properly. Double click on the cookie layer to open their style panel so you can add drop shadows and more details on it as well. Take a copy of the ellipse so you can create a color wave effect. Now copy and paste all of your content of the packaging. Use masking techniques between cookie and text so it will look a bit 3D. Now download the 100% natural icon from Freebit.
our design is ready to go on 3D mockup. Just copy paste the design on the 3D mockup. And there you go. If you find this video helpful, like the video and subscribe my channel for more editing tips.